Alright, if you do that, do that. Just as long as you're safe and just as long as you keep everybody around you safe. If you still have questions about training rides, leave them in the comments below and we're going to do our best to get to those. Yep. Right? Yep. And we might even bring it up on the next podcast. You never know. Yeah, exactly. But if you don't want your name said, then let me know ahead of time because even if you don't want your story said, let me know ahead of time too. Because uh, they're, they're so in the, feed, in the feedback part, I did get feedback from someone who I included in one of the stories. They were like, how could you tell that story? And I'm like, but I didn't say your name. Like, it's. <laughs> Only the people that were there know. So what do you mean? Those are great memories, usually. Exactly. Like, yeah, not so much for them. But it, it was, you know, it, it was what it was. I actually didn't even say that much. But anyway, moving on. All right, so. Next topic. Next topic. Uh, I want to save that one. All right, so let's skip on go to, to um, tip of the day. Tip of the day. Yeah, yeah. Learn to use your hands when you're riding to communicate with other drivers. So I was coming down some of the back streets today and I think there might have been an accident or maybe school was out because there was a lot more traffic than usual. There was actually a metro bus that was lost in the back streets and because there were so many cars I was waving quite a bit mm -hmm. to try to get attention from the drivers. So yeah. That's what I would say would be the tip of the day. Yeah. Definitely get yeah, learn to communicate with your hands. Um, going along with that, learn the proper terminology. Learn the proper term because the thing is I've been on rides where even vocally, like you're saying the wrong thing and it may be what you learn, but unfortunately, like for the, the whole of the collective, they know it as something else. So learn the proper terminology because you leave them confused. Okay. So what would like, be some of the terms? Okay. So for, for an example, this one of the things where like the minute I say this, the person is going to be like, that was me. But anyway, all right, so for example, car up. Car up means a car approaching from the front. Mainly for those that are where they're not supposed to be anyway, because they're probably in a long time traffic lane. But either way, it's a vehicle approaching from the front or a vehicle parked in front. Either way, it's an obstacle ahead of you, up. The person. They're used to saying car up as in like car upon you. So they're talking about a car come, approaching from the rear, but they're saying car up. Nobody's moving over because they're looking for the obstacle ahead, not the obstacle so behind. So what are you saying when there's a car behind you? For when, there's a, when there's an obstacle behind, it's car back. Whether it's, like we talked about this last week, whether it's back in the left lane or back in the right lane, if it is back, it is car back. It's not car left if it's back in the left lane. Car left is an obstacle on the left side. Like, so again, you have a bunch of people that will not move over because they're looking for, they're looking at the next intersection for a car coming left because you're, you're calling car left. So that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for something coming from behind them. Yeah, typically when someone says car back, that's your signal to start moving over to the right lane. Exactly. And or, or if you're about to turn to move to the left lane, either to, to gather into the lane that the ride lead is in for the next part of the ride. Yeah, and I just want to add to that. Slowing is another thing you'll hear. Mm -hmm. Stopping. And there's a difference between slowing and stopping. We call slowing. It does not mean stop where you are. Please don't stop stopping in the middle of social rides. That is like the worst thing ever. Right, and a lot of times you're going to be going from slowing to, to clear, slowing to rolling mm -hmm. right away. So exactly. you know, be, be on the... Uh, the lookout for for that mm -hmm. and then left turn and right turn yep so those are some yeah. of the terms and well, that would be the tip of the day and i guess well more well, 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 on the tip of the day because you want know, to get multiple tips if you drop something because that's we talk about this last podcast too we, we, might, we might talk about this every podcast because we write so much so we see it a lot and um people are new to the channel oh uh, yeah that's it well i mean they shouldn't be anymore like this episode three like all of y'all said we'll see how many of y'all actually like follow the YouTube and the Instagram. Well, how many of y'all actually do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but if you drop something, if you drop your water bottle, if you drop your phone, I hope it's not your phone because you're going to be like frantic for a minute. Drop your phone, you drop your water bottle, you drop your beer, or you drop your hat, any of these things. Do not stop in the middle of the social ride. Pull over to the side, call it out, so that people go around it but please do not stop in the middle 
Like that is the easiest way to cause a serious accident. And I would have, if it's your phone, and you're one of those people that subscribe to like paying a thousand dollars for a phone for some reason, and get the natural instinct to stop. I would hate for somebody to like break their collarbone because that's a very common like injury. To break their collarbone because you decide to stop for a hat. Not cool. Not cool at all. So please don't do that. Yeah, please it's don't. Something that it's crazy. It's something that you can do, but it's not cool to do. Mm -hmm. Like you said, hold off to the side. Uh, yell, scream. Yep. But uh, get out of the way. Let the other riders continue. For sure. For sure. Um, next thing, giveaways. We are going to be doing a bunch more giveaways like soon. We're gonna be give so the first giveaway, we haven't decided what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna do a Well the first giveaway was a t shirt then. Yeah, I mean for the for the new channel. I mean the first giveaway was a t shirt. But for the new channel we'll be doing a lot more giveaways. Like that's channel specific. And the reason why I say that is because so we're gonna have multiple forms of content. Obviously there's the podcast. Um where the, there's Rate Your Life that we're gonna be doing. We might do a few tours, maybe. Maybe we might do a few tours. Um, maybe even some bar tours. The bar tours will be strictly video, it won't be audio, because we're not trying to get like copyright strikes. Um, in either case, you have to actually watch the content to get the products. That's what it's gonna work. The next one we will do on the next podcast, I will make sure we get something cool. What I'm gonna do, I haven't even told him that yet because we didn't really get to show prep because I was super late. But, but, so here's the thing, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to get a prize. I am going, you have to be in Houston for this one because I'm going to lock a combination lock somewhere in Houston. Cool. I will post a, a picture of that location so you know how to get there. It'll probably be somewhere only accessible by bike because like podcast we'll give out one number for the combination in the beginning of the pod and then the other two numbers will happen somewhere throughout the pod that way you actually to make so i know who's actually watching the pod you know i don't want i don't like the whole the well i do like it likes help a lot for the algorithms but don't yes, just like it and then be like and then like don't watch any like I would much rather you watch the content and love it or hate it versus you just liking it because you're our friend. So. We'd like to know that we're doing some good in the world. Exactly. That's the whole point. Yep. All right. Um, I kind of want to say there's like last. So, gear. so yeah. you know what? You know what slips my gears or strips my gear because I'm fixed gear. Well, but I'm fixed here, so we don't have a gear to grind. We, um, we are here. But um, what slips my gears, social rides that go down in Houston, Main Street, or other one-lane streets. Main Street specific, if you're in Houston, you know what I mean. When you're going down Main Street, like North Main or anywhere downtown, and you're on a single-lane street where you have the, the light rail on one side and the curb on the other side, so literally there is nowhere for cars to go. Get in and get off. I understand that, you know, it, it looks nice at night and it's pretty and that kind of stuff, but I have to call it like it is. I'm the asshole when he's a nice one. It's kind of a dick move. I'm gonna call it like it is. It's kind of a dick move to like, to ride down Main Street for miles where there's nowhere for the cars to go. They're stuck behind you like the whole time. Like, it's just kind of a dick move. It's kind of shady. I think you need another beer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, it's. I mean, it is mostly harmless. Yeah, mostly harmless. So. Yeah. Hey, so, how are you doing? Can you grab me? Yeah, grab me another one. But yeah, it, it's kind of crazy. Like, it, it's almost like the Snickers commercial. Like that feeling, like the sales for the Snickers. Well, well, if Snickers wants to be a sponsor, but, but, yeah, we are looking for any sponsors that are interested. So, mm -hmm. send them our way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, you know, I get it. North Main is a really cool street to ride down. You're right in between all the high rises. There's brick in the street, so you're in the middle of downtown. Uh, yeah. So I, I get that part of it, but I agree that it is a really thin street, and you have the train tracks, the rail tracks. People fall fall down on those all the time. Yep. You know, and that was yep. You have to have skill to ride around those things, and then 
you have people that decide to ride all around and through the rail, which is very dangerous as well. Mm -hmm. um, so get on that street, but get off. Go exactly. somewhere where your social ride can go. Well, and again, if we're talking 10, 15, 20 people, that might be okay. But if you're talking about a few hundred, well, that's a totally different yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a totally different thing. Like if you're, if you're finding these rides that have 50 to 60 people, like and 50 people and above, definitely you. Definitely you, I feel like that, that's like a one block thing. Get on, get the hell off. But if you're like 15 people or something like that, it can float either way. It can be a dick move or it cannot. Like if you if you're riding at social pace, so you're running like let's say you run at ten miles per hour and you're fifteen deep, and you're going for miles, it's kind of a dick move for you too. And it's actually even worse for you. Actually, you know what? I take it back. It's even worse for you if you're like riding like with small numbers and you do it for like miles at well, like ten miles per hour. What what do you think is bad about it? Okay, so here here's my thing. Yes, the streets the streets are there for us as well. But we need to be good neighbors, like a cyclist. Okay. If, if I'm in a car, let's say I'm in a car, which I hate driving cars, and today is a testament to that, that's why I was late. But if I'm in a car, and my destination is along this street, like I have to be on the street to get there, right? And I, so I have to go miles down the street. But now, instead of going my regular pace, I'm forced to go 10 because the 10 people ahead of me are lollygagging me going 10 the whole time. Like, can I go around? Because it's one, like we said, it's one lane, curb, and train. Like, I can't do anything. I'm just forced to, like, sit there. Like, this whole time, then it's just, that's not being a good neighbor. Well, like, that, that can happen on any street. And again, get to the right, let traffic. But you can't get to the right if it's one lane. And that's, right. what, that's what I mean by like the one lane street. I don't mind it on the two lane where right. you can get over, then that's fine. Right. I mean, like, like, but when you know that you're in a situation to where you can't, like, like literally, you can't get to the right because it's not safe for you or for the driver, and but you're intentionally hogging the street. Right, and North Main is one of those streets where it's probably not one of those, I'm trying to get somewhere and at any specific time type of streets because you have light after light after light. Well, for the driver or for the bike? For the driver. Well... Because you got all of these lights and then you have the train that's next to you which will make those lights turn red on you yeah. all the time. Well, and that's true and, too. And, and I get it. If you're on your bike and if it's a small group, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes you can get on the sidewalks because you got wide sidewalks off the main. And yeah, if you're blocking traffic and you can see that people are, are trying to get through, then mm -hmm. that's something different. But again, yeah. I don't think Maine is one of those, you know, we're gonna just flow through. You need well, to go over to- Well, but you also to, have to take into consideration though, we're, we're in the fourth largest city in the United States. Yeah, but I mean- Where a lot of people- I, I rode down not, Maine earlier and there was no cars. Well, yeah, because the other day, but, but, listen, but, but we also get a lot of people <laughs> that, no that never really come to this area. They don't come downtown. They don't do, and then so they're they're stuck, they, they're like newbies, like they have no idea. Yeah. And that's what I mean by being a good neighbor. Like it's it's not about the people that seasoned that knows to avoid Main Street. Like it's about the ones that don't know. Yeah. Like I mean, it's just like it's it's no different than what would we say? Like talk about like dick moves and that kind of stuff. What would we say if we could we both are, are those people? We're at a training a training ride or something like that, a fast ride. And we see some people that, number one, we talk to like new people anyway. But we see some people like with their equipment and that kind of stuff. They're like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna make it. But we never say anything like about it to them. Like I would consider that a dick move. It's like, like it's not about for the ones that know, it's for the ones that don't know. Right, and I think you and I will both agree um, that get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you get on and get off, that's cool. But I'm saying, like, for the ones that literally hog the street the whole yeah. time, I guess, yeah. don't do that. Like, I, I can see that as a gear grinder. Or... Yep. Definitely grinds my gears, guys. Like, don't be a dick. We're riders. Like, let's ride, have fun, but don't be a dick. Like, yeah, it's... I think one of the things that uh, you gain as you get more experience is that awareness, mm -hmm. right? And I'd like to hope that people that become yeah. more aware are like, hey, 
there's a bunch of cars behind us. Let's get on the sidewalk for one or two streets, let them go through. We'll get back on the street and be on our way. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yep, most definitely. Um, all right, now we'll get to the topic, the topic of the day, because we're like approaching the end. This one is for the ladies. I had a bunch of people like hit me with this topic and said we need to talk about it. <laughs> all right. A bunch, okay. Let's do a this. bunch of people. All right. Dirty macking on social rides. And for you uh, dirty mackers, what, y'all what, know what, what that is. is. Okay. Well, okay. What, is it, what is dirty macking? Okay. So there, there's macking and there's dirty macking. Dirty macking, it, it could be a lot of things. But what's, com- what's most common on social rides it's the guys that wait in the wings. They know a particular young lady that's riding social ride is in a relationship. And they either, they pursue her because their boyfriend isn't there at the time. Or what's even more common and even more dirty mac is when you pursue them after, like their boyfriend is there and you wait for the boyfriend to ride off and you roll on in. <laughs> like you know, like do your hit on and make your make your comments and that kind of stuff. Run your game. Yep, exactly. Like run your game, and then when he comes back, you like fall back on. You know that is dirty macking. Okay. Yeah, dirty right. macking at its finest. Don't like, do it. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> like we're we should protect our cyclist women. There is a reason why it's ninety percent guys and ten percent girls, and it's not because of ability. I hate to let some of you ego guys know. It's not because your ability is higher than theirs. It's because they don't feel comfortable around you. Like, we need to we need to do better. As guys, we need to do better and actually respect, give people the same respect that they should, that you would give any other guy. Like, you don't go and bother Luke every five minutes because of something. So why are you, like, going and, like, bothering this young lady, like, just because, oh, she's the new girl on the ride? Like... Like, every girl, I feel like every woman that rides needs, like, a, a human-sized uh, mosquito. Like, what do you think? Like, the fly swatter. Fly swatter. Like, because literally, any time a girl comes, there's a circle of guys circling them like mosquitoes. We can't do that. We can't do that. We got to do better. Yeah, I, I think it's totally cool and fine to say hi, introduce yourself to yeah. someone that you don't know. Whether it's a guy or a girl, doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And then be on your way. You know, if they want to make conversation. They'll make conversation. Yeah, that'd be great. If they don't, they don't. Just respect that and and move on. Yeah, Yeah. like make everybody feel comfortable. Like, like, I don't know, I've got like all kinds of images in my head. Like, of (laughs) of, like people like making you feel uncomfortable. (laughs) Right, like you're standing there and a bunch of guys like standing, hovering around you like the whole time. Like that would be wild, right? Like, I don't understand why they don't understand that, too. Like, don't dirty back. Even, honestly, the macking on the ride. Like, bro, it's a, it's a hobby. The same thing happens at the The same thing for the gym. The same thing for other sports. Like, people are coming to do the sport. Coming to do the thing. Let them have fun. Let them do the thing. How the how they, young people say, the thirst is great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the thirst is real. The thirst is real. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's so, for hilarious. sure. Um, so, like, that's gonna probably be the end because we both have appointments to get to. But we promise next week we'll start on time. We will have a few other things implemented. Um, also, oh, one other thing. See, I like talking to them about it. Like, talking to YouTube and talking to them about it. We got a bros more, remember? <laughs> yep, we definitely have that a bros more. That, that that was that's a that was a weird comment. That was one of the bro. The Apparently, we don't grow it up enough for bike spears and bros. So cheers, cheers to that. Give me a double bro on that. I one. know, right? <laughs> like, cheers to that. We don't grow it up enough. Apparently, we lecture too much. And even this was kind of lecturing. But I mean, you gave us topics that was lecturing. So I don't know if you want you want us to talk more. Give us some topics that we can. Well, I, I, I try to switch it up and, and focus more on the conversation with you versus who is watching and yeah. that. So. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, so we'll definitely do that. Um, we're going to share this to our page. Follow the Instagram. Follow the YouTube. Um, the YouTube. We will probably not have Facebook. I'm not really sure. I mean, we can. Yeah, yeah I might be I Let us know if, if y'all want to do Facebook. 
Oh, speaking of, like, I know that this, like, popular with the kids. Let us know if you want us to do TikTok. Like, maybe we can do, like, some dances on the bikes. Bike dance? Yeah. You know, do some stuff for y'all. Um, let us know. We're here for it. We're here for it. Uh, <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, it, you know. You never know. You never that's know. What they, that's what they're into, so. Yeah. Or even the chatty house. Uh, Clubhouse. Clubhouse, there we go. Yeah, if you want us on Clubhouse, maybe we'll get I on there. I think that's probably more up the, the league of, of bikes because there's so many uh, bike groups out there. And oh, true. can be clickish. True. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. Oh, speaking of that. So, bike rides. All right. So, I know I told you guys to invite us to your rides. I didn't mean really invite us to your rides. Like you I'm here. I'm here. I ride the rides anyway. You don't you don't have to message me to invite me to your ride unless something particular is happening. Like you don't have to message me. Like I will come out anyway. So I don't know how many messages you got about that, but I got messages from like my close friends, like, oh I didn't know I had to invite you, but we're having a ride. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like no, I that's not what I meant. <laughs> like I, I don't remember that, but uh, no. I, yeah, it, it was when I told him like to invite us to the ride, but if you ride a trash, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, okay. Like, I got you. yeah. So I got like a bunch of comments about, oh, not comments, but DMs about that. Oh, that's the other thing too. My DMs are now closed. Like, <laughs> put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. We'll respond. I promise we'll respond. Put it in the comments. We'll like we'll come out. Or put it in the show. The show. Uh, the show DM, not mine. My DMs are closed. We have an Instagram now. We have a YouTube now. Don't don't DM me. I don't want the notification. Um. Don't dirty <laughs> Mac. Oh, you yeah, don't dirty Mac me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely don't dirty Mac me. Oh my um, goodness, that's hilarious. Yeah, because I I have, in fact, you know what. You can dirty make me because I have oh. someone else checking my DMs, there and is. and you'll get a response from someone else. Won't be him. Yeah, it will not yeah, be, it me, be I me. I guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you don't want that, then don't dirty make me. Don't DM me <laughs> about That's like the run. We'll come out. Um, if you have anything coming up, let us know. You want us to announce it? Yeah. Yeah, Good let idea. us know for sure. Um, or if you just wants to show up. We are not currently doing any live podcasts at Rides. At least I don't have any intention to. No. Okay. Yeah, we're not currently doing that. So those we, aren't we happening may, right now. Maybe later gonna, on. We're probably going to record from uh, the Fixed Up Bike Shop. Yeah. Opening yeah, we will do that. that. Put that on, but uh, it probably won't be live. Yeah. Unless we talk to Steven and work something out ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I think that'll be it. Like I said, so today's sponsors was Stevo, not Steven, two different people. Club Stevo, you don't know where to go, call Stevo. Our beer of choice for today was Eureka Heights, most harmless. Oh, most, most oh, harmless. wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry. Um, you hold on one second, one second, we'll be right back. Oh, um, did you get anything from from Instagram about uh, branding uh, from the last video? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. They sent me a message um, saying, that, oh, yeah, that's, this looks like branded content. If you'd like to, like, share, like, profits with them, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like, huh, what branded content do we use? I don't know if it was the beer or just because we have a logo now. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, okay. So, back to y'all. Mostly Harmless. From Eureka Heights. Yeah, we're we're not sponsored by <laughs> yeah. anyone, but uh, yes, we're not sponsored by Eureka we're just Heights. Just letting you know what we're drinking today. Unless you want to sponsor us, Eureka Heights, then we will gladly come out. Yeah. But right now, we're currently not sponsored by any beer company, and or any company. Period. It's just us doing our thing because we love y'all. So make sure you show that love back when you see us. And I think is that it? Is that it? Should we cancel? Are we done? Are we done, guys? That's a wrap. That is a wrap for this week. Let us know what you want us to talk about next week. Let us know what rides are coming up. And we will talk to y'all soon. Peace. Peace.